So here I am uh, trying my first video and uh, without a script. I've heard that it's best to do a video when you have um, planned you, what you're gonna say and um, you have some sort of a script. You probably know me if you're watching this video you're a follower of mine and you're either friend, family or a new follower. Uh, that just likes my art or someone who has taken a class with me in person. Um, I'm a mixed media artist today. That's not how I started. I started um, painting self-portraits in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts and I was attending Clark University and um, working on my Bachelor of Arts and my thesis was self-portraits. I started switching my interest to um, still lives. Studying my subject from different angles and that, that was a lot of fun as well. I got to do quite a few commissions. My color palette is basically colors out of the tube. very little mixing <laughs> um, although that's not really true I do mix some of the colors but I just love the brightness and the boldness of the color coming straight out of the tube and um, you won't see me pre-mixing colors at all I started doing a lot of kids motifs um, my daughter was in elementary school and um, I loved do it working and um, with the kids so I did a bunch of um, animals, like wild animals from specific from the place where I was at, which is Florida. So I, there was uh, a lot of flamingos and uh, raccoons and crocodiles. And um, yeah, I just, I just really liked uh, working like that. Some people call that type of art whimsical. For me, it's more playful. Um, my art at that time and still is very playful. I don't have much of a plan before I start. I'm very much of an improviser just as I am here in this video. And um, so yeah, so now then after doing a lot of animals and kids, I had a phase also in which I did chimpanzees and depicted them doing the same ex facial expressions or same things as a kid would be doing. So um, that was a lot of fun and exploration. Came across uh, an artist or a couple of artists in Australia, Susan Nethercourt and Laura Horn. Um, and I got introduced to the art of mixed media. Not that I had not seen mixed media before, but it was fun to listen to them talk about their process, their creative process, and, and watch them create. So I decided to take a couple of classes with them, online classes, and then I really started focusing on this one particular artist, Laura Horn from Adelaide, Australia. And she's a wonderful, wonderful, amazing um, teacher, above all, artist, creative. And um, I, I, I felt drawn to the way that she was teaching, drawn to her art. I felt a connection for some reason and I started taking classes with her and following her on social media and listening to her podcasts and she is wonderful at sharing her process how she developed her business her practice her art practice and it inspired me um, she inspired me to have now the goal of making a living out of my art and yes I'm 56 now mm -hmm. and um, no it's not late I can still make a living out of my art and for the time being I do have a day job 
but our ultimate ultimate goal is to do um, art classes that can be bought online and can be taken online so that means I will have to do a lot of this videos videos and um, showing uh, little demos or longer demos and so that's why I have to learn a lot learn a lot in the video production world uh, fortunately a previous job that I had on the mainland uh, gave me the opportunity to play with video and video making and video editing and music and all of that cutting clips and putting clips together and that's that was a lot of fun it's a lot of work but it's a lot of fun Laura Horn and uh, online because I haven't met her in person yet and I saw her videos and her classes I am taking her classes and other classes by other artists around the world mainly because I want to learn a new technique I want to have fun but also because I want to take note of how they do it what they show what they talk about um, and again, uh, even though it's redundant, I want to see their process, their beginning to end. So the best way is just to go ahead and take a class by them. first video my first attempt um, it's hard to be uh, on camera all the time but I will give it a try because this will give me enough uh, practice so that when I actually teach a class then I'll know what to do I'll know how to talk to the camera I'll know how um, what angle is best I will also learn about sound and what I want to do with my background. I just want you to get a little taste of what it is to be in my studio and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let's keep rolling, let's keep learning and cheers to that. <laughs> 